Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Um, as I said in my live stream, y'all, don't judge me for not having lashes on. I can't find my lash glue. I gotta buy some more. But I already did my makeup, so I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. Now that that's out the way. Today, I'm here with a dream. In this dream, I was back in school. So, uh, while I'm at this school, I, um find out that I have to pass a test like there's some kind of test that I have to do it's some kind like and it's a big test and I'm really trying to study and I'm trying everything that I could possibly do to make sure I pass this test while I'm dealing with this it was like every single person that I ever got into it with um in high school was like present and harassing me and competing with me and it was like i had to deal with that while trying to get everything together so i could pass my test so um i have a hard time juggling all of that like that's basically what the dream was i was trying to juggle all of that at the same time the scripture god sent me to comes from jeremiah 51 and 6 flee out of babylon let each each one save his his life perish not for her guilt this is a time of vengeance for the lord but pays her her due okay god is telling me to stop right there so i feel like um so the message god is saying is the goal like the big goal this test that we have to pass is like um in symbolism the test is us um when we pass that test we get to be in heaven with our heavenly father and i feel like um literally me having to deal with everything going on is the test like that is a big part of the test um it's not just about accomplishing whatever it is that god has put up on your life whatever kind of mission whatever kind of um, destiny that you have to fulfill in life like that's part of the test too but um in reality it's how you deal with everything that's going on around you how do you deal with someone competing with you how do you deal with someone messing with you or picking on you or bullying you or whatever it is that you had to deal with or that you have to deal with on a daily basis god is saying your reaction is a big part of your grade it's a big part of your test the next part, um, let each one save his life. God is saying that, um, and perish not for her guilt. I feel like God is saying just because there are a lot of things going on around us in the world today, um, that it doesn't mean that we have to join in on it. Like just because we see someone else doing some kind of sin doesn't mean that we have to do that sin too, or, you know, to try to fit in or to be like that person. God is saying that, um, like, how I saw it in that dream was I was just trying to focus on the goal that God gave me while I was having to deal with other people um, doing their thing and then on top of that trying to stop me from doing this thing. And I just feel like God is saying um, sometimes you have to stop looking at it like, the big picture is just you finishing that goal because that goal is going to be completed. I feel like when um, God is saying whatever it is, it is going, you're going to accomplish that. However, um, if you are in this angry, like angry mode, like you're mad at everything, everything is making you upset. Everything is ticking you off. It, like it's just how the bottle just pop. Like you're a ticking, tick, 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 boom. Like, I just feel like God is saying, if you're always allowing the things that happen around you to affect your mood in such a way that you are always upset, you're always sad, you're always miserable. Um, you're always grumpy. You are literally, um, allowing your life like that's how you're living your life because just because you achieve whatever goal you have just because you achieve whatever dream it doesn't mean that life stops it doesn't mean that all of a sudden there are no bad days all of a sudden there are things that um things that you know may happen around you that may upset you you know um just like 
I am doing something that has always been a dream to me, but it doesn't mean that my life is just perfect and everything is going good for me. And every day is just, you know, every day is exactly the way I want it to be. I cannot control certain things. And, you know, I feel like God is saying that you should realize that you cannot control certain things and life is never going to be perfect. Um, and because of that, God is saying sometimes he sends certain things your way to test you, just to test you. Are you going to be patient? Are you going to be calm? Are you going to allow it to ruin your entire day? Sometimes things can happen and it can be something to really make you so upset. But in reality, regardless if it's something that makes you really upset or not, it's something that happened. You can't control it. Are you going to allow that thing to be your main focus for the entire day? Like you're going to allow that one thing that happened to make you upset with yourself, with everybody else, and with whoever that is for the entire day. Are you going to accept the fact that it happened? Um, accept that you cannot change that it happened. Either try to find something to solve that problem, solve that situation, and move on. Um, or, you know, accept that you can't change it and move on. And I just feel like God is saying for somebody, you are allowing, um, every little thing that happens around you to make you angry to the point that you cannot, um, enjoy your life, you know, because sometimes we, we, you could literally be doing everything that you ever dreamed of doing and having everything you ever wanted to have and still find something wrong like there's always going to be something wrong that's just like um when you clean your house you clean your house and it's clean for a second something always happened regardless if it's um like dirt or sand being tracked off the uh the on the floor for from shoes or you know maybe you spill something maybe you have pets maybe like whatever you have kids okay if you have kids your house is always gonna look lived in because it's always toys everywhere and i just feel like god is saying that um it is never going to just be perfect. You're always going to be solving something. You're always going to be cleaning something up. You're always going to, it's always going to happen. So it's no need to be allowing that to make you miserable and make other people around you feel miserable because they're trying to figure out why you're miserable. And, you know, in reality, God is saying, don't allow what's going on around you in the world to cause you to sin, to cause you to, um, you know, do bad. And, you know, in reality, just because somebody is doing something, it doesn't mean that you're going to do it. And, you know, you have to remember that. You also have to remember that um, everything that is going on around you cannot, it, it shouldn't affect you. You know, once you allow someone to change your mood or control how you feel, you are allowing them to control you. And God is saying you have to be careful of that. You have to be careful of giving away your power to other people. Okay, and last but not least, this is a time of vengeance for the Lord. He pays her her due. So God is saying, whatever you put out, that's what you're receiving back. Whatever, like, your actions control what happens in your life. So if you are going around and you're doing wrong to other people, you're doing bad, God is going to pay you your due for that. But if you're going around and you're doing good, you're giving out love, you're giving out... um encouragement joy and you're you're just really trying to be a good person you know um i even hear god saying living humbly like you're not really trying to like how do i explain it it's like the competing like the competing aspect of this dream there is no competition we are not competing with anybody it's not a situation to where um, we both can't be good because if we're both good, then somebody's not going to get to go to heaven or somebody like that's not the goal. The main goal is to be with our heavenly father. So we don't have to feel as though we're competing with somebody. Nobody is better than the next person. In reality, everything that we do is for God's glory. And once you take yourself out of that aspect and you realize this is for God's glory. So my name don't have to be on it. My name is not everything to it. I'm just a small, I'm just one small person in the aspect of God's kingdom. And, you know, um, 
I just feel like God is saying, take yourself out of this race, take yourself out of this competitive nature, because even the way that you react to what people are, you know, people are doing around you, just because somebody is competing with you doesn't mean you have to compete back with them. You, you could encourage them. You could like genuinely be happy for them or, you know, whatever it is, because in reality, when someone is competing with you, it's just because they want to do well. And, you know, you want to do well. Um, if you want to, you could even acknowledge it and say that, like, let them know I'm not competing with you um, or let them know I think you're doing great or, you know, just something to kind of steer them, steer them away from that competitive nature because that competitive nature is not of God. God is love and everything is for God. Everything is for him. So we are not, um, it's no reason for us to be competing with each other. And, you know, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody who joined me on my live stream. I love you guys so much. And I did have fun with y'all. I'm going to try to go live again either later this week or next week. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who um, bought me something from my wedding registry. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to get it. And I'm definitely going to give a shout out. If there's some, I don't know if it has it where y'all can leave y'all names on there so that I know who gave me what. Because I do want to give y'all a shout out and, you know, a, a proper thank you, you know. Um, and thank you to everybody who donates. I really appreciate it. And I love you guys to bits and pieces. I will see you guys later. Deuces.